Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Tuesday's story is the government mandating the use of HTTPS for federal websites. Today, the White House issued an order saying that federal websites have to use HTTPS, or secure websites, for all federal websites out there. And if you've watched my videos over the past few years, you've probably noticed me commenting on the increased use of HTTPS. This is due to something I call the Snowden effect. Whether you love or hate Snowden, one thing is sure, Snowden did show the world that nation states and other entities can intercept and snoop on our web traffic. And as a result, many different different big websites out there have started defaulting to HTTPS, places like Google, Facebook, Yahoo, Twitter, and so on. In fact, recently Netflix even said it's going to start using HTTPS for its video streams, which is a pretty big deal since Netflix accounts for 34% of all US's internet traffic. In any case, forcing HTTPS is probably a good thing. As a security person, we want our communications to be encrypted. More importantly, it will help us avoid illegitimate websites. HTTPS also allows us to authenticate that the site we're going to really is the site we think it is. So overall, this is a good thing. However, there is one little hidden issue here, and that's the fact that bad guys use HTTPS. And with us adopting HTTPS, our network gear not only has to keep keep up with HTTPS, but we need security gear that can actually decrypt and inspect HTTPS, if at least just for a moment, to ensure that we can scan it for malware and other sorts of attacks that might happen over this secure web channel. So anyways, the federal government is mandating the use of HTTPS for all its websites. Ultimately, I think you're going to find that most of the internet will use HTTPS as the years go on. However, as you're choosing security gear, be sure to have things like WatchGuard's XTM devices that can actually decrypt and inspect HTTPS to make sure that bad guys can't sneak any sort of attack through this back door. One last aside, my story today should be Microsoft Patch Day, but since I'm on the East Coast, it's about three hours till Patch Day goes live, and I'm going to be on the show floor for the rest of the day. But if you're a Microsoft administrator, be sure to check Microsoft's site, because patches are coming soon. According to our IPS updates, there's definitely going to be some Office updates and Internet Explorer updates, so go get them when you can. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.